Hello guys, this is Danny with Parte. So just wanted to give you something to compare against for the other room. So you see how bright these panels are from the light that's coming in from here and here, right? But the light that's on that panel on the far end, which is the brightest point coming from the windows, is only, uh, I think it was 79 lux. Uh, so it was between 70, it kept vacillating between 77 and 79. So let's go with 79 lux. We'll go with the high end. Uh, so looks much brighter because just the way the, the light's hitting it, but it's actually nowhere near as bright as it was in the other room. And this will show you, so you can see just how, you know, it performs here as opposed to in the other room. So, sorry. Let me get it here. I'm going to take us back to the same video. This is all the same panels. There we go. So all the same panels, just in a different room. But you can see now this would be probably somebody's normal living room set up where you have a window and maybe another window and you may have some additional light on. So I'll turn this light on here. This is one I use in there. I always pull it out and I'll even point it towards the, uh, towards the screen. So we'll throw every little bit of light that we have available um, over at the screens and you can see. And that's the, that's the bright boy right there. You can really tell just how it pushes in this environment. I actually had a piece of white paper. I'm not going to grab it right now because you can see it's sitting underneath the lip of all of those. And they'll all come tumbling down if I try to rip it out. Um, but just for comparison, you can see how you know this works in sort of a, a normal, well-lit, not extremely high-lit just a well-lit environment if you had pot lights across the top nominal impact you know as i explained earlier because they really don't push that much lux against the surface that's why i tell you guys to be careful about what you see in these videos with these rooms that look super bright because they're really not i know I can see it right off the bat now whenever I look at them and I can pretty much guess what the lux is based on the amount of light that they have in the room and based on the dimensions that you can draw from, you know, the room. Um, you can tell about how far away the lights are. Like if you got a lot of lights in the center of the room and it makes a white wall look really bright. But if you go over and put it on that wall, you probably got somewhere in the ballpark of anywhere between... 58 to you know 120 lux based on how many lumens the bulbs are pushing but just wanted to give you an idea for a comparison i know i said the last one was going to be the last but i just wanted you guys to get it at least an idea and here real quick i'll turn out all the light so you guys can see how they sorry i have to uh close the blinds and we'll still have light in the room. And this is with the same Eki 2500 720 project. So there you go. And it's still, there's still light in the room. It's not like it's a dark, dark room. I just got the, the blinds are closed. You can see. Looks great. All right. Once again, have a great weekend. Thanks, guys.